So let's continue with our example of decision tree algorithm. In the last video, we calculated the Gini index values for the edge parameter or the edge feature. Today, we will be doing the same for income feature of this data set. Well, after calculating the Gini index values, we will be building the root, the very first node of the decision tree, right? So let's get started with the Gini index. Well, as per formula of the Gini, that is one minus summation of all probabilities. Well, I starts from one and it goes all the way to the number of classes. In this case, we have two classes. Right. So for the Gini, when the income is equal to low, the Gini index would be calculated as such. 1 minus, well, the income value is low. These are the four instances in total in the data set. If you look at the data set, one, two, three, four, the income has four low values. And out of these four values, three are yes classes. One, two, three, right? And in one case, the class is no. So how will we fit these values in our mathematical equation? Let me show it to you. The total instances of income low are four. And out of these four values, we have three yes. Yes class right the class that is the bias computer so we will square it down then for class no we have in one case we have the class no and the total values are four So this is how the Gini index value would be calculated for the income equals low. So if we do the mathematics, the value of Gini index would be 0.375, right? After the mathematical calculation, we will get the value as 0 0.375. Seven five. Similarly, I will calculate the value when the income is equal to medium and high, while income is equal to medium. Well, there are five instances of income equal to medium in the data set. One, two, three, four, five. And out of these five, values let me calculate the number of times it has been classified as yes two three so three times it has been classified as yes while the income value was medium and well the income value was medium the number of no classes are one and two right so let me fit these values total values of five three times it has appeared in yes class while two times it has appeared in no class so let me calculate the values for the mathemat the mathematical 
equation 1 minus 3 divided by 5 square minus 2 divided by 5 square and the value is 0.48 similarly calculate the value for income equal to high looking again at the data set the total number of high values in the income feature here are one two three four five and out of these five values three times it has been classified as yes one two and three and two times in class no one two so put the values in the equation again 3 divided by 5 plus 2 divided by 5 whole square and the value is 0 0.48 now the, uh, these are the Gini index values for the income equal low medium and high now I want to add all these values and I would like to calculate the weighted sum of all these values. So the Gini index value would be equal to 0 0.375. Well, this is for while the income was low. 0 0.48 plus 0.48 well this has to be the weighted sum now well out of these 14 instances in total four times we have the low value of the income so 4 by 14 would be multiplied with its Gini value that we calculated in the in the first place 0.48 this is the value for the Gini index well the income was medium and the medium weight in this feature are 5 divided by 14 14 is the total number while 5 times we have the income value medium similarly for the income value equal to high so that would result in the Gini value equal to let me do the simple math using the calculator so that would give me 0 0.449 so the Gini index value for this feature that is income of this data set is equal to 0 0.449 right now I will do the mathematical calculations for the G index calculation for the student and credit rating as well so see you in the next video in the next video we will be doing all these math and we will establish the root of the decision tree as well